Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for data descriptive for the situation, ungrouped data. Given the data below, so where we have a data, so the question asks us to construct a stem and leaf display. So how to construct the stem and leaf display? So a stem and leaf display, or we can call it as a stem plot, is the vertical arrangement of data that sort the score for the least to the greatest. It's useful too in the exploratory data analysis. So kindly refers to the data. We have 82 as the highest value and we have the 16 as the lowest value. So now what we have to do is to construct the stem and leaf display or we can say a stem plot. Step number one, separate each score into two parts, namely the stem and the leaf. For example, if the score consists of two digits, let the stem be the first digit and the leaf be the second digit. So here we have the situation 82, 63, 72 and 16. So the first part, we name it as stem. Second part, leaf. So in here we have two digits, so we let the first digit on the left hand side become the stem. So in here we have 16 as a minimum, so we start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Because we have 82 as the highest value or the data. So arrange all the score in a vertical manner from the smallest score to the biggest score. So here we have 16 as the smallest score until the biggest one or the highest one, which is the 82. So the score is eight. For each stem and the leaf are arranged in ascending order from the left to the right. So now what we have to do is to category the data. So kindly refers to the data 82. So means that we have eight on the left for the first digit and the second digit will be Two, followed by 63, 72, 16, 32, 66, 78, 20, 63, 81, 24, 70, 37, 63, 49, 52, 46, 41, 79, 18. So do remember, arrange all the score in vertical manner from the smaller scores to the bigger scores. For each stem and the leaf are arranged in ascending order for the stem from the left to the right for the leaf. So what we have to do is to rearrange the situation. So kindly right now the stem and the leaf. So one we have six and eight followed by two zero and four. Then we have three two and seven. Then we have four. Then rearrange the leaf in the ascending order from the left to the right. So means that start with 1, followed by 6, finally we have 9. Next we have 52, followed by 6. So we have 63 for 3 times, and then followed by 66. Referring to the 7, we have 0, 2, 8, and 9. Finally, we have 8, the 1, and 2. Include a key or we can say a legend to explain the meaning of the entries. So key. In here we write now, eight stroke one means eighty one. So here we have the step to construct a stem and leaf display, or we can say a stem plot. Next, we are going to focus on how to construct the box and whisker plot. So kindly refers to the situation. Number one, we must have the five number summary. 
which consists of minimum value, maximum value, the first quarter, second quarter, or the median, and the third quarter. So referring to the stem plot, we have the minimum value, which is equals to 16, and followed by the maximum value, which is equals to 82. Next is to find the first, second, and the third quarter. By referring to the formula for the quarter, so by referring to the formula for quarter, so what we have to do is to find the first quarter. So Q1 is equals to where we have 20 entries. So meaning that refers to the stem plot, we have 20 entry. So the 20 multiply with 1 over 4. And we have the Q1 is equals to fifth term. So Kali refers to the 5. So in here, the 5 is an integer. So since it is an integer, what we have to do is to reverse the formula where we have the Q1 is equals to the fifth term plus with the sixth term over 2. So that will be the value for the first quarter. So Kali refers to the stem plot where we have 16 is the first term, second term is the 18, followed by the 20, 24, 32 will be the fifth term, and the 37 will be the sixth term. So in order to find the Q1, where we have to sum up the 32 and the 37, divide by 2, so the first quantile will be 34.5. Next is to find the second quarter or the median. So where we have Q2 is equal to 20 multiplied with 2 over 4. So the second quarter or the median will be the 10th term. So Kali refers to the value 10. So refers to the formula, it is an integer. So in order to find the second quarter, we have to make use of the formula where we have the 10th term plus with the 11th term over 2. So just now we stop at term 5 and 6. Terms number 6, which is 37, followed by 41, 46, 49, which is the 9th term. So the 10th term will be the value for 52 and also the 63. So in order to find the Q2, we have to sum up the 52, which is the 10th term, and the 63, which is the 11th term, over 2. So the second quarter or the median the value would be 57.5. Next is to find so the third quarter will be denoted at uh, Q3. So where we have 20 multiplied with 3 or 4. So the third quarter will be equal to 15 terms. Refers to the formula. We notice that 15 is an integer. So again, Q3 is equal to the 15 plus with the 16 term over 2. So, kindly refers to the stem plot, the 15 terms will be the 70 plus with the 16 term will be the 72 over 2. So, the third quartile will be equal to 71. So, do remember just to revise, what we have to do is to find the five number summary, where we have the minimum value, maximum value, the first quartile, which is 34.5 followed by the median or the second quarter, which is 57.5. And the third quarter is equal to 71. That will be the first step. Next, what we have to do is to find the lower and the upper fence. So given the formula for the lower fence. So next is to find the lower fence and the upper fence. So the lower fence is equal to the Q1, where we have 34.5 minus with 1.5 multiply with the interquartile range. So where we have 71 as a Q3 minus 34.5. So by referring to the calculator, where we have the lower fence is equal to negative 20.25. Next, find the upper fence. Where we have the upper fence equals to the Q3, where we have 71 plus 1.5 Multiply with the interquartile range where we have 71 minus 34.5. So by referring to the calculator, the upper fence will be equal to 125.75.
So next what we have to do is to construct the box plot whisker display. So what we have to do is to draw a number line, then locate the number from the minimum to maximum using the suitable scale. So in here, my suggestion would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. <clears throat> After we have the number line and also locate the value using the suitable scale, next, what we have to do is to mark and label the five number summary and also the lower fence and the upper fence. So where we have minimum value, 16. Next, we have the Q1, which is 34.5. Next, followed by 57.5. And we have the Q3, which is 71. Then we have the maximum value, which is 82. So name the situation. Next is to refer to the lower fence and the upper fence. Based on the value that we have for the lower and upper fence, and we notice that there is no any data or entries outside the boundary. So meaning that there is no outlayers and the lower fence and the upper fence is no need to be included for this case. Next, what we have to do is to connecting the line. So kindly make a box connecting the Q1, Q2 and Q3. Next, what we have to do is to draw a line from the minimum value to the box. Next, draw a line from the maximum to the box. And from here, we already construct a box plot whisker display. Next, what we have to do is to find the difference between the Q1 and the Q2. So, refer to the data, 57.5 minus with the 34.5 and we have the range which is 23. Next, focus on the Q2 and Q3. Find the difference. So meaning that 71 minus with the 57.5 and we have the difference, 13.5. So based on the situation, we can comment the data or we can refer to the box plot whisker display to comment the data. So meaning that in here we can say the situation is skew to the left or we can say negatively skew so by referring to the tail where we have the difference between the q1 q2 and the difference between the q2 q3 and we notice that the q1 q2 is longer or bigger than the q2 q3 that's why we say skew to the left or negatively so based on the situation there is no outlayers or we can say the outlayers does not exists because by referring to the lower fence and upper fence there is no any entry outside the range of the fan that is why there is no outlayers or outlayers does not exist <clears throat>